So in this video, we're going to actually try and get some data for our recipes. Um, the data we're going to use will come from the website Punch Fork. So this website basically gives you um, a list of recipes and it actually has a developer API that you can call. For example, if I call the API here, it's going to give me a list of um, existing recipes when I search for the for fish recipes in this case. So if we take a look at the API data, so this is documentation. So basically I'll start with uh, api.punchfrog.com and then I list an endpoint. In this case, my endpoint will be recipes, um, an API key. It's free to register for an API key. There are also paid versions too. And then the parameters that you add to your API key. So in this case, if I have um, an, a URL that, that looks like this, where I have recipes, my key is that, and then question is fish. So this will search for all recipes that have fish in it. And then I get this data. Um, the data here is all represented in JSON and we need a JSON parser to do that. So I'm gonna add a JSON parser to my application. This is a open source implementation. I mean, that can be copied from, from the web. But anyways, um, I'm going to copy that and add it to my application. So I'll paste that there and then add it to the foodie project. So that is those two folders there. So basically right now you don't need to know anything, I mean much about these ones here. They are just um, open source projects that will help you parse PH, uh, sorry, JSON, JSON data automatically. All right. So the next step is, the next step is to add a recipe class. So this is the class that's gonna have all the details for our recipes. So let me add a new file there. So it's going to be a standard objective C file and I call that recipe so in the recipe.h I need um, three attributes so in recipe.h so in recipe.h I need three attributes so the first attribute is going to be the name of the recipe um, that's going to be of type string and a string the second one is going to be the thumbnail image so it's going to be a the URL for the image Let's make this copy because they are strings, so we don't need to retain them. And then the last one is going to be our Twitter share count. And this is just going to be an integer. Okay, let's fix that. Alright, so those are the three that we need for now. We can always add more, but for this simplistic app, let us use those. I'm not going to synthesize those there here as well. And that's a win for our recipe object. So, um, going back to our list, we will need to add a list of recipes so first of all let's try loading the recipes from the API so let's add a new function or a new method called load recipes all right so then the first step is to add our recipe URL which I'll get from here
then we now want to use our JSON parser that we included. Um, for that, let me import the file into the tether. Okay, so then we need to, so what the JSON parser will do, right, in this case, it's going to call this URL and then return us um, a JSON object as a dictionary. So what we just need to do is, let's say we start with, uh, let's create the JSON object, the JSON parser, first of all. Now there's a function on that called start loading object with URL. So I'll pass in the URL and the delegate. So this will call the delegate when it's done with the loading of the file. So our delegate is self. Then we have to implement the delegate methods. So going back to the delegate methods, there is a method called data data request completed with JSON object okay so let's implement the delegate method so that's data request completed with JSON object so this is going to be a dictionary at the end of the day so we're having some issues here because we need to implement the protocol in our header file so if I go in here and implement the JSON protocol we should be okay with that all right, that looks good. So what this will return is going to be a dictionary. So we need to get details from that dictionary. So let's run a loop around that. Well, before we start, we need an array of recipes. This is what we're going to use for the list at the end of the day. So let's add an array, which is going to be a mutable array. And let's call that recipes. Let's do a synthesize in the top of our implementation. Okay, so this JSON object is gonna look like this. So we're gonna have a dictionary with two objects. So first of all, sorry, be two keys. The first key is gonna be the count, and then the second key is gonna be the recipes. So now let's pull out the recipes dictionary from that JSON object. So to do that, we need to say, get an object for key method. So if we pass that into a JSON, um, recipe dictionary, Okay, then we can actually put on, pull out the array from the dictionary. So if we say this is a bit the recipe array in JSON, so that is going to give us the array of recipes here. And then each element in the array is a dictionary again. So let's loop over the array and pull out the details that we need. So let's say for each dictionary in recipe array. So we'll now create an instance of our recipe class to put that data in there. And we're having those issues because we haven't included our recipe in here. So let's do that. OK, 
okay so the first thing is to pull out the name and that name for, should be the title let's use the title for that so this will so this will extract the title from the JSON object and then put it into our recipe name. The next thing we need is the thumbnail. And this is also called thumb. That's the value there. And then the Twitter account is called TWC. Okay, so we're good to go. All we need now to do is to add the, okay, no, I think this is an integer, so we have to cast that to an integer that way. So we need to add that to our list of recipes. So if we say recipes, add object, and then we add the recipe to that, and we are good to go. All right, so let's run this and see what we get actually by doing a debug it's probably easier let's see if that works okay we're gonna have to call this function load recipe somewhere let's call that just after just just before our view loads all right let's run that Okay, so we run through that. Okay, we get the URL and then that goes through the JSON parser. Actually, the JSON parser also loads the object and then parses it later. And uh, let's run that through. So our delegate gives us a callback where we have the JSON object. And if we run through that, well, we do have some recipes in there. And then let's do a break. So we've got 10 objects, so that's 10 recipes. So we've got 10 recipes, so that's good. So let's try and see if we can add that information to our table view. So if we stop that, so in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add the information to the table view.